hello everybody hope you are all doing good today i will show you how to uh, create a html page and then add some javascript code to that page and then return a value from that uh, javascript code so basically i'll create a javascript function and from that function i'll return a value back to the html page uh, so that's the thing which i'll show you and i will use visual studio 2022 uh, for this you can also use any other text editor uh, uh because html is not a compiled language uh, so you can use a normal text pad or a notepad and uh, just write the same code whatever i'm showing you here here and it will work uh so if you are in uh, visual studio 2022 uh, or 2019 the process is almost similar so just create a new project here uh search for blank solution and then click on next here give a name uh, to the project so i'll show uh, the name here is uh javascript return uh click on create and now you can see a blank solution has been created just right click this and new item html page show text is my name of the page uh click on add default code has been added now i'm going to add uh script so add like this so here you can write your uh, javascript function so before that i will add a paragraph element here p and then give name uh, to this so the name is uh, display text so this is where i want to display a text dynamically so this is uh, so what i'll do is i'll write a function here which will return a text back to this element here in html and it will show that value uh, within this uh, within this element okay uh, so for that what i need to do is first i need to write a function so function uh, name is display and then uh, return hello let's say hello world okay so now uh, so display function has been uh, written so it is hello world and uh, i have to now display this text here in this p element okay uh, so how will i do that so to access first i have to access the html element so for that say document dot get element by id and within brackets you have to uh, let's copy this and give this here and then it will have an inner html property uh, so use that in html and then uh, what i want to do is i want to uh, return this value so right so let's call this function here in the inner html display let's close it using a semicolon so now this will when this gets executed so this will call this display function it will return the hello world back here and then we are saying here when the hello world whatever text is returned so you display that text in the inner html of this particular element uh, so it will retrieve this element and update the inner html with this value so that's that's what will happen here so let's now run this to run this uh, right click view in browser so you can see hello world is coming up here let's change this to something else let's say hello mary yeah and just refresh this so hello mary yeah so that's how uh, the text is getting written so what i will do is uh, instead of that uh, i can actually pass a argument as well so i can type something here uh, saying say hi uh, so that's my variable so that will so that will be initialized with the text that is being passed by the uh, by the uh, by this call so what i can do is i can just say return text data okay now go back refresh and here you can see say hi so that's how also you can pass the value uh, from outside instead of uh, from the inside you can also do it from the outside so so that's that's how you return uh, any value from a javascript function uh, Hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.